This video will be a note for note breakdown of the guitar and bass parts that appear in the intro and verses of the song. The tab sheet of each part will briefly be displayed after its respective analysis. Each verse is played slightly different. All three verses will be detailed. A final demo of all parts combined will be featured after each verse analysis. The tuning used in this video and on the record is standard E and 440 wavelength calibration. Guitar One is going to start out the song using a halftime feel. We're going to play a two measure long riff pattern that gets played four times before the verse starts. We're going to start out using a B minor chord. And what we're going to do is put the first finger on the A string at the second fret, that's your root note. The third finger will go on the D string at the fourth fret. The pinky will go on the G string at the fourth fret. And the middle finger is going to go on the B string at the third fret. What we're going to do is pick these notes one at a time, let them ring together. The first four are going to be eighth notes using a downward sweeping picking motion. Okay, so on one we pick the A string down. On the end beat after one, we go to the D string and pick it down. On two, we go to the G string and pick it down. And on the end beat after two, we pick the B string down. Just like this, with the four count lead in, here's what we have so far. One, two, three, four, one and two and. Okay, that last note is going to be tied to an eighth note on three. In short, it's going to ring out for a quarter of the measure. So on the and beat after three, we're going to pick up on the G string, and then we're going to continue that sweeping upward picking motion to the D string on four. And we're going to finish up the first measure by picking the open G string down on the final eighth note of the measure, the final upbeat. So with the four count lead in, this is what the first measure sounds like. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. And now we've reached the second measure. What we're going to do is place the middle finger on the low E string at the third fret and the first finger on the A string at the second fret. The first four notes of this measure are also going to be eighth notes using that same downward sweeping picking motion. Okay, what we're going to do is pick the E string down on one, on the and beat after one we pick the A string, on two we pick the D string, and on the end beat after two we pick the G string. So with the four count lead in, this is what we have so far in the second measure. One, two, three, four, one and two and. Okay, now to finish up the measure, we're going to use four more eighth notes. Notice I'm letting these notes ring together as I do this to create a chord. So on the three beat, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up on the open A string, okay? On uh, the and beat after three, we're going to place that first finger on the D string at the second fret and pick that down. Okay, on the four beat, we're going to place the middle finger on the G string at the second fret and pick that down. And we're going to continue that downward sweeping picking motion to the open B string to finish up the measure. And notice again that we're letting these notes ring together to create a chord. So with the four count lead in, I'm just going to play the second measure. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Let's run through the first two measures in sequence just one time. The four count lead in. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. As mentioned in the first segment of this video, this guitar part is a two measure long riff pattern that gets played four times as the intro of the song. 
On the fourth pass through, we're going to adjust the second measure of the pattern to close out the intro. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up on the open A string on three like we have been, but we're going to change the last three notes by going with a downward picking motion to the open high E string on the end beat after three, followed by an upward picking motion to the open B string on the four beat, and that will be followed by another upward picking motion to the open G string on the final and beat or eighth note of the measure. So with the four count lead in, this is what the eighth measure of the intro is actually going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Let's run through all eight measures of the intro just one time. I won't count aloud as I play, I'm just going to give you the four count lead in. One, two, three, four. At this point, the vocals will enter and the first verse begins. The eight measures of the first verse will be played exactly the same way as the eight measures that we just covered for the intro on guitar one. What we have here is eight measures to start out the song on guitar one. We're going to play through the first two measures three times as indicated by the repeat sign at the end of the second measure. Okay, that sends us back to the repeat sign at the beginning of the first measure. And also notice above the second measure, the one through three. That means first through third endings. That's how we know to repeat that three times. On the fourth pass through, we're going to go from measure one directly to what appears to be measure three on paper. That's actually the eighth measure. Okay, that's the intro of the song. To do the verses, we're going to repeat exactly what we just did for the first verse. Guitar 2 is going to follow a two measure long riff pattern that gets played twice during the intro. Guitar 1 will start out unaccompanied and Guitar 2 and the bass will enter on the fifth measure of the intro. To start out the first measure of the riff pattern on Guitar 2, we're going to use a B minor chord and that's where we're going to bar the A, D, G, B, and high E strings on the second fret with your first finger. The third finger will be placed on the D string at the fourth fret. The pinky goes on the G string at the fourth fret. And the middle finger goes on the B string at the third fret. On one, what we're going to do is rake the chord with a slow downward picking motion. We're not going to dig deeply into the strings with the pick. We're going to lightly let it slide across the strings, just like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to let that ring out for the entire first measure as a whole note, just like I did. On the second measure, we're going to go to a G major chord. And we're going to rake this again with the same slow downward picking motion. This will be a half note. We'll let it ring out through one and two. One, two. To finish up the measure, we're going to go to the A major and rake this chord once again for another half note through three and four. Three, four. So with a four count lead in, this is what the intro is going to sound like on guitar two. One, two, three, four. 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 At this point, the vocals enter and the first verse begins. We'll continue the same riff pattern four more times through the first verse as well. The bass is just going to accent by playing the root notes of the chords played by guitar two during the intro and first verse of the song. We're going to work from the 
B note, where the first finger is on the A string at the second fret, to the G note, where the middle finger is on the low E string at the third fret, and the open A string. Remember that guitar two enters on the fifth measure. The bass is going to enter at that same point, and we'll play 12 measures. So with the four count lead in, let's just run through the bass part one time. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. The supporting music will be played at twice the pace during the second verse. For convenience, the tab sheets and count will be kept at a halftime pace on guitar one. For each measure on guitar one, there will be two measures of supporting music. The parts played on guitar one will be exactly the same as the intro and first verse, but with one exception. The fourth measure of the verse will be played differently. Here's a quick look at that measure. On the second pass through the riff pattern, we're going to adjust the last two notes of the second measure, which is actually the fourth measure, kind of like we do on the last measure, the eighth measure. What we'll do is we'll go to the open A string and pick it up on three, then we'll go to the D string with the first finger on the second fret, and pick that down on the end beat after three, like we have been doing in the riff pattern. And on four, we're going to skip directly to the open E string and pick that down. And on the final eighth note of the measure, the final upbeat, we'll pick the open B string upwards. So with the four count lead in, this is what the fourth measure of the second verse is going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and... Let's run through the entire second verse in sequence, just one time. I won't count aloud as I play, I'll just give you the four count lead in. One, two, three, four. And this is all eight measures on guitar one during the second verse. Remember, we're playing this at a halftime feel while the rest of the music is twice the speed. We're going to play through the first four measures until we reach the yellow highlight at the end of the fourth measure. That repeat sign sends us back to the repeat sign at the beginning of the first measure. We'll play through the first three measures again and skip directly to what appears to be the fifth measure on paper. That's actually the eighth measure, and what that is is the second ending. Guitar two is actually tacit or at rest during the second verse. It enters with a slide on the last measure. It starts with the middle finger on the seventh fret on the low E string on the two beat, slides up in pitch to the 22nd fret on the three beat, and then back down on four. The same supporting rhythm part that was used in the first verse can also be applied here. Just remember that it's being done at twice the pace, although it sounds and feels the same. The trick 
is switching from clean to distorted to add in the slide. Here's a quick once through of the rhythm part on guitar two. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The bass guitar is going to follow the same four measure long pattern that was established during the bridge of the song. We're going to play through it four times instead, equaling 16 total measures. It'll continue accenting with the bass drum on the one beat and on the and beat after three in the same manner as the bridge. The only thing that we're going to do differently is the last measure of the rhythm. We're going to work off of the open A string there, and we're going to play a measure full of triplets, counted one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, with alternate picking. Okay, this is going to accent tightly with the fill on the snare of the drums. What I'll do now is I'm going to give you a four count lead in and play this measure much slower than it will be on the album, just so you can follow it. One, two, three, four, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Okay, now what I'm going to do is play through all 16 measures of verse two without counting aloud as I do it. I'll just give you the four count lead in. One, two, three, four. The second verse will begin at 48 seconds. This is all 16 measures on the bass guitar for the second verse. We're going to play through the first four measures until we reach the yellow highlight at the end of the fourth measure. That's a repeat sign which sends us to the repeat sign at the beginning of the first measure. Okay, This actually equals the first 12 measures. You'll notice above what appears to be the fourth measure on paper, the highlighted one through three. That's the first through third endings. On the fourth pass through, we're going to play the first three measures again and skip directly to the fourth ending, which is the last measure on paper. Like the second verse, the supporting music of the third verse will be played at double time while guitar one remains at a half time pace. Again, the fourth measure will be played differently. In this case, it will be played exactly like the eighth measure of the previous verses. Since we already covered this, here's a quick once through of the third verse on guitar one. One, two, three, four. This is all eight measures on guitar one during the third verse. Remember that the supporting music is actually being played double time. So for these eight measures, the second guitar and the bass are actually going to play 16 measures. We're going to play through these four measures until we reach the highlight at the end of the fourth measure. That's a repeat sign. It'll send us back to the repeat sign at the beginning of the first measure we just play these four measures a second time in sequence to give us eight. 
Guitar 2 will also be tacit or at rest during the third verse. The same slide at the end of the second verse leading into the chorus will also be applied here. If the same supporting rhythm part used in the first verse is applied, it will clash with the bass on a few measures. If adding in this part, you will need to substitute in an E minor in place of G major and an F sharp major in place of A major for the second measure of the riff pattern on every other pass. Here's a quick once through of verse 3 on guitar 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. During the third verse, the bass is going to follow the 16 measure long pattern that we played in the second verse, but we'll do one thing slightly different. On every other pass through the rhythm, what we're going to do is change the third and fourth measure of the four measure long riff pattern. On the third measure, instead of going to the G note, we're going to go to the open E string instead. And on the fourth measure, instead of the open A string, we're going to go to the F sharp note instead, and that's where the first finger is on the low E string at the second fret. So when we finish up the third verse, we're going to do the same triplets, but this time it'll be on the F sharp note. So what I'll do is give you a four count lead in and play through all 16 measures of the third verse. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and 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 four. The third verse will begin at one minute and thirty six seconds. This is all 16 measures on the bass guitar during the third verse. We're going to play through the first eight measures until we reach the yellow highlight at the end of the eighth measure. That's a repeat sign, which sends us back to the repeat sign at the beginning of the first measure. We're going to play these first seven measures again, but after the seventh measure, it's actually the 15th at this point, we're going to skip ahead to the last measure. You'll notice the yellow highlighted two above it. What those last two measures are are the first and second endings.